Okay, so I asked a question on cancelling sinus infections and also potential fear-based thoughts around um, operations. Um, so, yeah, those type of things, especially if it's a chronic sonic, uh, sinus infection. And I mean, I don't think anyone enjoys uh, operations uh, and getting fear-based thoughts around things going wrong. It's it's quite normal. So the, the thing, of course, is... Um, uh, I'll just share the inspirational story, which is one of my favorites of Dr. Hugh Len. Uh, and that also operates, it's just the same thing. Everything is data, whether it seems to be, uh, what seems to be showing up in experience seems to be a, a, a sinus infection, a blocked nose, uh, or, um, or an operation. All of that is actually just uh, clouds or data that just seems to be appearing. And it can, and everything can be cancelled. It doesn't really matter whether it seems to be a sinus infection, or a a a a, a, a thought, a repeated thought of fear-based outcomes for an operation, or a a gel, as in Doctor Hugh. I mean, Doctor Hugh Len is a mystic, or an avatar, someone who wants to clear this the data in the collective illusion. So he just uh, he just basically got uh, the prison files of a prison full of uh, convicts and he just cleared the data in himself he forgave them he just cancelled the thoughts you know i cancel my belief that uh, john um was an axe murderer and ax axed his granny to death i cancel i cancel i cancel my belief that uh, david likes running over people on the street um so he's forgiving them he's transcending the data he's cancelling it He's ascending love until that horrible idea is cancelled, not just from himself, but from the collective illusion. And when it was forgiven, cleared, cancelled in himself, the whole prison just um, got well without him visiting the prisoners. And the prison was actually shut down. That's documented. And a famous story of someone just praying and clearing and cancelling what others had done and clearing that dead. That's the power. Of course, that power can cancel a sinus infection and not and 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 stop you from having thoughts of bad outcomes. Um, but it does require that um, these fear-based thoughts and images and sensations and feelings that seem to be in the body be cancelled until they disappear to never come back again. So I just do like I cancel my belief. Uh, I have a sinus infection, an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. The only reason a sinus infection is occurring is because there is a there is a belief. You know, it might be being held with fear and 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 fearful emotions, but the, I mean, you can't have you can't have a sinus infection if you don't believe in it because you just wouldn't experience it. I don't know if that makes sense. It's like. Uh, if you if you haven't got a thought about it, then maybe it would it, it might feel like a, a you know like some uncomfortableness that it, that evaporates off and you don't really not really notice it. You see, it's only because you've got a word to label it, and other people have labeled it, and then you've seen horrible pictures about it and horrible stories. Uh, that's why it seems to exist. If that if you just keep cancelling it or praying to God to remove it until it disappears, then it does disappear. Um, it's the same philosophy as, uh, like I say to everyone, like um, if I said to um, someone who's interested in handbags, how many handbags did you see today on the street? They'd probably be able to tell me every single handbag they saw and what the brand was. Now, if you ask me what how, <clears throat> what how many handbags I saw and what were the brands, I, I can't. I haven't seen any. It's because I'm not interested. There's nothing in my head that even registers that. I'm not interested. I don't want to see it, and I don't see it. So if I didn't want to, if I didn't have a, if I was not interested and I had no fascination with the sinus infection, and thoughts around operations, then there could none of that can exist for me. It just wouldn't happen. So I just need to clear it. So I just need to take responsibility that I'm creating that thought over and over again in my head. And even the sinus infection is just a thought in my head. And uh, the, the power of saying it's not real or I cancel my belief in it, or God, I humbly ask you to remove this idea, this belief from me, 
over and over again um because you know the ego is like running that thought like maybe a thousand times a day and and saying like the ego is sort of saying like you should believe this and let's let's repeat this thought over and over again throughout the day so you know like just doing i cancel my belief once in the day when your ego has been repeating it like 700 times and you might see like oh it's not going away well you, that's because it just requires uh, you know for something that's chronic it requires a bit more um i got this as a hypnotherapist like if a belief is something that's going over and over in your head so if you want to cancel it you should really be cancelling over and over in your head at a more ferocious rate than your head's trying to read repicture it and and rethink about it and then eventually it gets deleted it's like a blackboard it's like a it's like a horrible writing that the the ego likes to show you throughout the whole day so you just have to keep rubbing the you know di disappearing the blackboard and praying that it's not real and disappearing it uh, equally and then it will eventually never come back again and then and that's the that was uh, dr hawkin he had 23 illnesses just cancelled them and, and allowed the experiencing of them and they all all left within about three years uh, uh, some of his illnesses were life-threatening so th that's what i do um the same for the thoughts you know so there's aspects you do like I cancel my belief in a sinus infection. I cancel my belief. I cancel my belief in operations. I'm an infinite being. God did not create operations. Um, I cancel my belief in a stuffy nose. Uh, I cancel my belief in um, a, ba a bacterial infection in my sinuses. Whatever it is, um, and just keep doing that again. Uh, you, eventually, it's just like uh, you could say you're brainwashing yourself not to believe that anything that is there or anything ever existed or anything will ever exist. And a thing like that doesn't even exist. I mean, sinus infections don't exist in this world. They never existed. Operations don't exist. You know, it's not it's not an operation. I mean, you know, uh, so it's like. So when it when it loses meaning, you don't really experience it. It's like if you go to, if you go and if you go and brush your teeth in the morning, you don't re remember what's happening, or it's not really an event that's really happened, and it's you forget it as even while it's happening, you're, you're not really paying attention. It's like it's a non-event. So if, if operations become a non a non-event, like so boring that you can't even think about them, and what's happening you can't think about it, and there's nothing to fear, and there's no thoughts about it, what would happen is you. you you know, it'd be like nothing happened that day and you haven't got a problem that needs doing and there was no operation. So you just want to totally, totally disappear it. So what's happening is you're moving up um, in consciousness from from fear and negative thinking, from just presence and happiness and joy where no negative thoughts exist and everything seems to flow by and nothing really seems to be able to, from the world, be able to intrude on you or sort of touch you. It's just too boring or too meaningless to register. So that's what I do. That's what I do with all my nightmares. And um, um, what I can share on a positive note is when I, when when I totally delete it in myself, the problem seems to disappear out there as well. That seems to be my experience. Yeah, in many, I've got many miraculous stories, but otherwise this video is going to get too long. So, but I do wish the person miracles with uh, and freedom and disappearance, disappearance of what is not real.